For module one, we're going to start by talking about the pathogenesis and some background information on calcifications. So why do we care about calcifications? Most calcifications in the, biop in the breast that undergo biopsy have been shown to be benign. Studies show a PPV between 20 to 30 percent uh, for malignancy. So we know that most calcifications that we end up biopsying are benign. So why do we care about them? Well, we also know that calcifications are going to be the most common mammographic presentation of non-palpable cancers, uh, followed by masses, and then distortions and developing asymmetries. So we really want to be able to identify calcifications that require biopsy because it is an early uh, detection of breast cancer very frequently. So what exactly are calcifications? Well, the calcifications we see on mammography themselves are neither benign nor malignant. What they represent is mineral deposition within the breast resulting from various physiologic processes such as secretory, inflammatory, traumatic, and then necrosis. And this is where we have either benign or malignant calcifications. And basically calcifications can occur anywhere within the breast, in stroma, the ducts, the vessels and the skin. There's two different types of calcifications in the breast, type one or calcium oxalate. These are almost always associated with benign processes in the breast, and these are the less common type. Type two, the more common type we see in the breast are calcium phosphate or hydroxyapatite. And these are associated with either benign or malignant processes in the breast. But the problem is on mammography, we cannot differentiate between the two. Um, type 1 is going to be the type that are colorists on H&E stain. So when our pathologists do H&E staining, they may come back to you and say they don't see calcifications. If this is the case, uh, they may need to look at their specimens under polarized light in order to identify this type of calcifications. Type 2 are the type that are going to stain bright blue on H&E stainings. Here we see these chunky uh, blue uh, bodies, which represent calcifications on H&E staining. So where are they? Well, they can occur in the lobules within the breast. Uh, several benign processes occur within the lobules, such as cystic breast disease, milk of calcium, sclerosing adenosis. Uh, atypical lesions or high-risk lesions can also occur within the lobules that present as calcifications, and this includes atypical lobular hyperplasia and lobular carcinoma in situ. Also malignant calcifications can occur in the lobules, and this is the case for invasive lobular carcinomas. Calcifications um, also occur frequently in the ducts, uh, benign things such as columnar cell change, uh, or atyp atypias such as flat epithelial atypia, or atypical ductal hyperplasia. And then of course, malignancies uh, may present as calcifications that occur within the ducts. And these include ductal carcinoma in situ, DCIS, as well as invasive ductal carcinoma. So I just wanna thank you for listening to the first module.